you can start now yep yeah, that's fine okay here we are on the 23rd of October and we've got a big crowd of people here tonight and we've got people from Massachusetts again and the politics over there are looking as bad as they are here and I, don't, I get the impression that it's a vote between a half-wit and someone else who's an apology for a human being. It doesn't seem to be much of a vote. But uh, there we are. And uh, over here, it's getting towards 5th of November. And we're all a little bit pissed off that Guy Fawkes didn't actually get to light the bloody fuse, I think. Right, OK, we'll kick off. Um... Once I lived a life of a millionaire Spending my money, Lord, I did not care Taking my friends out for a good time Champagne, liquor, the very best wine And I began to fall so low Didn't have no friends and no place I could go It's mighty strange without a doubt No one's to know you mean when you're down and out Nobody knows you When you're down and out In my pocket not one penny My friends ain't got any Ever get back on my feet again I don't find all my long lost friends It's mighty strange without a doubt Know you when you're down and out. I mean, when you're down and out. I've got my hands on the dollar again. I'm gonna hang on to it till that eagle grin. Strange without a doubt No one's to know you when you're down and out Mean when you're down and out Nobody knows you When you're down and out In my pocket not one penny My friends ain't got any Ever get back on my feet again and I'll find all my long lost friends It's mighty strange without a doubt No one's to know you when you're down and out I mean when you're down and out You may not know it, but you had an accordion accompaniment then, John Yes, I could see I had an accordion accompaniment <laughs> Thankful, uh, Thankfully I couldn't hear it Thank heavens for the mute button. Great. Uh, okay, we did have uh, Anne, uh, Anne Jones on just while we're doing the sound check. And she thanks everybody for all their kind words and uh, everything. And she did have a chocolate orange to put in the raffle. So, uh, we have a, a, get dar raffle. a dark chocolate orange, dark John. A rare chocolate. thing. A dark chocolate orange in mm. the raffle. And I'll put it in the blog, but uh, Aidy's funeral is on Thursday uh, at two o'clock. Uh, Thursday the... Blah. It'll be in the blog. And he's going out to Great Balls of Fire, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so sorry we had to cancel last week, but we just didn't feel up to running a night and no. being attempting to be entertaining. So uh, I know Adi would have just said, oh, carry on, don't worry, oh, I'm gone, forget it, just enjoy yourselves. But uh, we couldn't do it, so that's that, really. 
Right, moving on. Uh, this one is this one is a bit twee, but we do twee, don't we? Nice little chorus. You can join in at home. Don't unmute yourselves to join in because it doesn't work. I wandered by a brookside. I wandered by. chirp of any bird but the beating of my own heart was the only sound I heard I sat beneath the elm tree and watched his long long The shade grew longer I didn't feel afraid I listened for a footfall I listened for a word But the beating of my own heart Was the only sound I heard gentle stuff i'll tell you what i missed when i got to the bit about i hear a footfall in the club we used to get these clatter of oh. <laughs> a stomp <Right. laughs> we've got uh, we've got leslie with a tune um so oh, sorry i better i'm told to get out of the way no no that's fine anyway uh miss rowan davis which you all know as a prelude to the mass hanging song. <laughs>
That'd be nice, dude. That'd be nice. Ooh. Lovely, lovely. That's a lovely tune. Did did Phil Cunningham write that, or is it? No, yes, it was a Phil Cunningham Fat Phil special. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so uh, oh, right, we are moving over to the Scouse department. Well, the Scouse and Brummie department tonight. The We've provincial got... cities. We, we'll call them the provincial <laughs> cities. <coughs> We've got lockdown oh, cities tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I shall mute myself. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to go first. Yeah. Get it over with, yeah? And I'm going to do the only folk song that I know, which is... Uh, their book by for, but for, for, <laughs> their book for fortune um, by Joe Myers. Yeah, so we're going to give this a go. Um, Stu's playing the guitar for me. Thank you very much, Stu. Show me the prison. Show me the jail. Show me the prisoner whose life has gone stale and I'll show you a young man with so many reasons why and there but for fortune may go you or I Show me the alley, show me the train, show me the hobo as he sleeps out in the rain. And I'll show you a young man with so many reasons why, there but for fortune go you. Show me the whiskey stains on the floor. Show me the drunkard as he stumbles out the door. And I'll show you a young man with so many reasons why. There but for fortune may go you. Where the bonds had to fall Show me the ruins of the buildings once so tall And I'll show you a young lad With so many reasons why hide their lights under a bushel that's what happens that's lovely oh. that's uh, margaret stunningly you, good we will not accept any excuses unless you bring a note from your ma'am in future <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely to hear you uh, i've that's got really gorgeous if that's all right yeah it's um a Linda mccartney one it's uh till till it was you till there was you yeah, I'm gonna have a go at this. I'm me Todd. I'm me Todd with this one. I am. Just look oh. into my eyes while you're singing it. That's all I ask. <laughs> right, it's okay. See this now. Uh, there were bells on a hill, but I never heard them ringing. No, I never heard them at all. Till there was you There were birds 
in the sky, but I never saw them winging. No, I never saw them at all till there was you. Then there was music and wonderful roses, they tell me, in sweet fragrant meadows of dawn and dew. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. Then there was music and wonderful roses, they tell me, in sweet fragrant meadows of dawn and dew. There was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all till there was you. Yes. Glennis has said in the chat private chat message she said if Margaret can do it so can I. Oh yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Am I? Why not? Yeah. There we go. Got it. We're to do a picture next week, won't it? It will. <laughs> Right. Well, they're sorting out. We'll have a quick word with Andrew and Ruth. We haven't heard them speak this evening. Good evening. Here we are. Well, that was beautiful, Margaret. Well, it was Absolutely. a lovely surprise. Fabulous. Yes. We've heard her well, sing once before, twice before in the club live. Yeah. It's lovely. I was singing along. Good job you couldn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> well, from tomorrow morning, of course, that will that recording will be all across the world. There'll be people in Australia and all sorts of places listening to that. And watching her face, lovely, lovely. Yeah, it's really good. Very right, good. John, you carry on, John. I'll mute and away. Yeah, talking about Australia. I wonder where John uh, Roberts is tonight. Oh, put it on the ch put it on the chat, Glennis. Okay, so we're staying uh, on Edna's iPad, and we've got Stuart on his own now. If he will unmute, oh, he's on never on my own <laughs> Not in this house. <laughs> You, wish. you should be so lucky, eh? <laughs> hmm. yeah, making each day of the year Changing my life with a wave of a hand Nobody can deny that there's something Thinking how good it would be Someone is speaking and she doesn't know he's there I want her everywhere Oh dear <laughs> she's, she's beside me, I know I need To love her is to need her. Oh my God! Well, we try another song, yeah. Let's spin that one off. Let's spin that one off because it's all wrong. I think that's an odd song to sing. Right, here we go then. Should we try another one? It's another Beatles one. That I'm going to wreck. It's it was your backing group. Why you put it off? Yeah, why don't you pick something complicated, Stuart? <laughs> I'm going to pick something else complicated now. I get high when I see you. It's only love, and that is all. Why should I feel the way I do? It's only love, and that is all. But it's so hard to do. Is it right that you and I should fight every night? Just a sign.
It's only love and that is all. Why should I feel the way I do? It's only love and that is all. But it's so hard loving you. Yes, it's so hard loving you. People think Beatles songs are uh, simple, but you get the sheet music and you count the number of chords they use. There's no three chord songs in there. I think the simplest one they ever did was Norwegian Wood, probably, or Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. But, That's uh, why I don't do any. <laughs> ah, it's lovely to hear some Beatles stuff. They will be folk songs in time to come. Some of them yeah. already are. Yeah. Oh, well. The next... Oh, she's on the phone. And she's coming on yes. the phone? On the phone? There's Just thousands of people waiting to hear her here. Thousands. <laughs> the I, youth uh... of today. You've probably got her words on the phone as well. You know how they are. No, 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 I, I, no I'm, I'm not doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're it. <laughs> Come on, girl, get a grip. Yes. Hi. Do you want one of these? Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Nice to see you What's again, Abby. Name? Yeah, nice to be back. What is your name? Uh, oh, my name is Abby. What's your Hi, name? Hi, Abby. Storm. Storm. Yeah. Lovely to meet you, Storm. Mm. Where are you from? Greenfield, Massachusetts, in the U.S. Ah, wow. And you're there now? Yes right now yes oh nice it's awesome. not it's really from walsall it just does a good accent <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, let you, let you on with it abby distant relative <laughs> he's a scouser really <laughs> <laughs> okay um so we're here to sing aren't we <laughs> cheers <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of um, Eva Cassidy again, because I love Eva Cassidy. We all do. We all do. And Nan, you like me singing this song, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> Impatient. Okay, oh, it's completely out of tune, Stuart. Good start. <laughs> this is going really well, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so this is a songbird. I hope you enjoy. Oh, 
was worth the two quid to get in on its own, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> now, you see, we all sounded like that before a lifetime of debauchery. <laughs> wind our voices. That's a lovely, pure sound you've got. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, it's a little bit odd. Okay. So I've not actually been singing for a while, so it's nice to be doing this. <laughs> We know you've got your words on your phone, by the way. We can see your phone in the yeah. bottom corner of the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't live it. without them. No, no, I know. I can't. Yeah, I apologise for not the, the folkiest of songs, but I hope that I'm like bringing it. a bit of me to the folk club. <laughs> um. This is a Sam Cooke song that I'm going to try and do. I was born by the river In a little tent So I'm just like the river I've been rolling Ever since Average, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, that was fabulous. Put up with it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. We can pack up now, John. 
<laughs> yeah, unless unless they've got a cleaner there as well. I think that's uh, everybody from Edna, isn't it? Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> right, mute them, Alan. Quick. I've, I've done that. Yeah, you can you can mute a scouser on here. You know, it's the only way. <laughs> right, just to recap for the next little bit, we've got uh, Storm's going to have to follow that. <laughs> And then we've got Ian and then the birthday boy. Oh, yes. So we'll go sort I of... I particularly uh, like the way he said it with a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go several thousand miles uh, yeah. west. And oh. I'm going to change the tone completely, so I in no way will compete. So is it about 4 to... p.m. there, is it, Storm? Is it about 4 p.m.? It is. Yeah. Ooh, funny old world. Yeah, so I am going to do a poem that I'm feeling because of our current situation and a song that's sort of, uh, I think, more of as a Halloween piece, but given where we are, it sort of applies to where our country is at the moment, uh, <laughs> which is a weird thing to say in the same sentence, but here we go. Are you um, sorry, Storm? Are you familiar with the the phrase "up shit creek without a paddle"? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as you're familiar with it, there we are. It was just on my. Oh mind. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just hoping we have at least a little bit of, you know, like a a salvaged branch. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The poem is called "Debauchery." And the song is called Under My Bed, and they're both originals. Debauchery. The masses heard together around the altar of fear and appeasement and consume the meat of their achievements. They've come to sacrifice to God the prophet while the individual stands alone and at the sight of such cannibalism retches up his insides, examines them lovingly, then hurriedly re-eats them before one of the mass can claim that they too belong to the majority. Oh, the rats and the bats and the skunk. They all come to spurlunk under my bed at night. Under my bed at night. Oh, it gives me such a fright when the rats and the bats and a skunk spurlunk under my bed at night. Oh, the squirrels and the birds and the mice, they do things that aren't nice under my bed at night, under my bed at night. Oh, it gives me such a fright when the squirrels and the birds and the mice aren't nice under my bed at night. Oh, the dogs and the cats and the ants, they laugh, they whistle and dance under my bed at night, under my bed at night. Oh, it gives me such a fright when the dogs and the cats and the ants come dance under my bed at night, under my bed at night, under my bed at <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, sleep tight, everyone, today. <laughs> God save 
democracy in the United States. Oh, it could be worse. You could be living in India and you'd be thinking about cobras under your bed at night. I won't well, sleep. I lived, I lived in Phoenix, Arizona for eight years and there we were thinking of scorpions and black oh. widows and cockroaches as big as your fist. Oh dear. Do you have the daylight savings time thing over in the US? Not yet. We'll have it. It gets really weird because you folks change this weekend and we don't change till next weekend. So there's a week I have to remember all of you are only going to be four hours ahead instead of five. But when I lived in Arizona, they didn't observe it. So it was really strange living there because half the year I'd be three hours away from New England and the other half I'd only be two hours away from New England. The, the main thing, you mentioned it then, the main thing to remember, Storm, is that we are ahead of you. <laughs> you are definitely ahead of us. This, this people over here don't observe it, but they've just to remember that everything starts an hour later. Right. <laughs> It makes the lockdown last one hour longer. Oh, no, no. Oh, it does, yeah. Fall back. I've always suspected that Adrian West might be one of these people who refused to turn his clocks back. He certainly looks like a flat earther, doesn't he? Yes, yeah. Well, well oh. Van Morrison has been releasing anti-lockdown songs that the government is not happy about. No, he's a prat, isn't he? There we are. I'm on record. Van Morrison is a prat. Right. Okay. Uh, we are going down to Kent now for Ian. Thank you, John. Right. You're not going to mute me or anything. Right. This this is a this is a Cotswold poem that's been turned into a song. Remains he labored on and cherished like a lover, and remains, but he is gone. The sunlit days are over. He was most loyal and a friend. that fate can send as well as any living he loved the hills that were his home he loved the sunrise and setting he loved to see the green corn the harvest getting are girt with Cotswold stone where Cotswold kind go reaping on the hills he called his own the Cotswold lad is sleeping
Oh, lovely, lovely. What was that one called again? I missed that. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's a, it's a Cotswold poem. Oh. And this one is, I know it too. It's by, it's by the Wailing Jennies, and it's called uh, Prairie Town. So, it's one for storm because it's set in his country. When it rains, it snows in this prairie town. There's a good three inches on the ground. It seems I'll be losing any peace I found. I see your face all of this town, but I know you're nowhere to be found. You're far away, you're safe and sound, far from this prairie town. It seems the thing to do. I'm here, I'm lost in thoughts of you, and in my dreams I'm city bound. If you ask me to come to you, to leave these fields and these skies of blue, you know I'll be leaving my sacred ground, leaving this prairie. One's love comes close to yours Nothing's what it was before My eyes are heavy and my heart is sore Leaving this prairie town Leaving this prairie town When it rains it snows in this prairie town we just watch it falling to the ground Wait for love to come around So ask me in that way you do And I'll leave these fields and I'll come to you Watch my heart as it breaks in two Leaving this prairie town this prairie town. Oh, lovely again. Yeah. I'm sorry if you got a bit of interference here. I forgot to unmute. Oh, I forgot to mute. Yeah, so uh, I'm sorry if we uh, if we were doing if we were talking dirty. Right. Okay, and then we'll go back to Will now for the birthday boy. And after Mike, we've got Davith and B, and then the gaffer. But uh, we've got Mike, who on the chat says that he's 74, but I reckon that's just his showbiz age. I reckon he's <laughs> well in advance of that. I don't know, he's, he's got some colour in his hair. Yeah, it's life's been, been tough on him though, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Straight out of a bottle. Yeah. yeah, it was all them years down the pit. <laughs> right, so uh, this first one's called uh, Steal Away. Um, Self explanatory, really. Steal away, let's steal away No reason left to stay For me and you, let's start anew And darling, let's steal away Let's 
steal away and chase some dreams Hope they never find us The dreary days, the empty nights We'll leave them all behind us Shit, a prick. Steal away, let's steal away No reason left to stay For me and you, let's start anew And darling, let's steal away We'll leave behind The gloom and desolation The rain and cold just growing old God knows it's a hard old station Steal away, let's steal away No reason left to stay for me and you let's start anew and darling let's steal away we'll leave with just our memories and make a new We have to choose to win or lose It's time we started winning Oh, steal away, let's steal away No reason left to stay for me Start a new and darling, let's steal away. He's not bad for an old one, is he? Yeah, right, there you see. I told you the singing lessons would have been worth the money there, you see, mate. Oh, you see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a few guitar lessons might do, I think, but uh, <laughs> I ain't going to get them either. <laughs> right, so, um, this is called uh, Who Knows Where the Time Goes. Oh, yeah, um, uh, the, the, the check's in the post, mate. Yeah, <laughs> somebody tried to steal this from me a few weeks ago, but... Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> Claiming it back. I was going to do that once. In spite, of, oh. <laughs> in spite of the fantastic job she did of it. Yeah. Um, who knows where the time goes? <clears throat> Across the evening sky All the birds are leaving How can they all know when it's time for them to go Before the winter fire I will still be dreaming I have no thought of time For who knows where the time goes Oh, who knows where the time Sad, deserted shore Your fickle friends are leaving Ah, but then they know When it's time for them to go 
but I will still be here. I have no thought of leaving. I do not count the time. For who knows where the time goes? Oh, who knows where the time goes? I am not alone. Now my love is near me. And it will be so till it's time for me to go. Though we'll count the storms in winter, and then the birds in spring again, I have no fear of time. For who knows how my love grows, and who knows where the time goes. Cross the evening sky, all the birds are leaving. How can they all know when it's time for them to go before the winter fire? I will still be dreaming. I have no thought of time. For who knows where the time goes? Oh, who knows where the time goes? Who knows where the time goes? Oh, who knows where the time goes? Oh. There were some hell of a harmonies on that, Mike. If only you could have heard them. <laughs> Not me, all around the place. Lovely. Oh, I could listen to that every week. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell him that. <laughs> I was singing in my heart. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm juggling everything here because I'm doing the blog this week. So, I'm... right. Uh, okay, we are over to the mud wrestlers or cage fighters or whatever they're doing. Yeah, oh, they're uh, already unmuted. Look at that. They're, they've got their kit off already. Sorry, they've got their um, togs on and they're ready to go, I think. Right, take it away then. Davith or B? Oh, uh, exciting to know which one. Yeah, it's a bit very difficult. Is it two falls or a knockout? He's the one with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> Die out. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is um, a parody of a song that I'm sure you all know, but I shall read it. <clears throat> Once upon a time there was a planet that catered for our every wish and need. So all we could take thinking it would satisfy our greed. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. We took far more than we really should, but we wanted even more. And so we never saw. Those were the days that could no longer lend. Now the ocean blue is full of plastic. The ice caps melt a little more each day. Unless we take the steps that now seem drastic, we'll destroy it all. That's a heavy price to pay. We watch as the rainforests go up in flame and fossil fuels are poisoning the air. But don't ask us to take any of the blame. That's just fake news and project scare. Who cares about the species we are losing? 
Let's just accept the heat and wind and flood. To change our ways is really too confusing. So we'll go on leeching our very lifeblood. Those were the days. So now we know who taught David his wordplay, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> lovely lovely stuff yes did right. you write that yeah i did <laughs> very nice thank you storm <laughs> right okay well we're gonna, we're gonna do some kind of so um we'll um I'll start off as i usually do well, hello, me dear Eos. I've been wobbling in my gander basket recently, and I've come up with this bit of a song that I hope you appreciate. Oils in you one, oh, green, grown in a zoo. What is your one? Oh? One's a grunge upon my splod, masking my current wangle. I'll sing you too, oh, green grove in edges, oh. What are your two, oh? Two army looming thrones, see how they dangle. One's a grunge upon my splod, masking my current wangle. I'll sing you three, oh. Green grounding edges, oh. What are your three, oh? Three are the times I lunged my groats. Two are blooming from sea of a jangle. One's the grunge upon my splod, masking my cord wangle. I'll sing you far out. Green ground me nature's oh. What are your four oh? Cause me wordless bend oh. Three are the times I've learned my groans. Two are me looming from sea how they jangle. One's the grunge upon my splot, masking my cord wangle. I'll sing you five, oh, green grove in edges, oh. What are your five, oh? Five of the wobblers up my spawn, four from my wordless bent, oh. Three are the times I've lunged my groat. Two are me looming from sea, how they jangle. One's that grunge on my splod. Ah! It's ruined! My card wangle! Card wangle! <laughs> That's straight out oh, of Round the Horn, it, is it? <laughs> good introduction to the gaffer, I thought. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Certainly different, was not it? <laughs> Did Kenneth Williams write that? Um, he probably did. Yeah. I expect he did, yes. I'll I'll never forget oh, his no. <laughs> wobbly voice. No, no, it says it's Marty Feldman and Barry Took. Oh. And they did write the script for um, Beyond Our Ken and Round the Horn. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Right. Is that you too, Dunn? So you're not you're not well, wrestling then. Completely done. It ruins my cod wangle. <laughs> <laughs> B's right. face was a treat in some of that, by the way. <laughs> we'll watch it on the recording. It was a treat. <laughs> oh, so we'll go to something a little more genteel. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have something a little more genteel now from the gaffer. And then we've got John and Carol, and then Brian, and then Dave Heitch. Because uh, I don't think I've told you when you were coming in, Dave, because you, you weren't there. So, uh, Gaffer, John and Carol, Brian, Dave Heitch, and then I'll make it up after that. Okie dokie. 
Off we go. Well, that was very nice. Little bit of um, rambling David Rumpel, wasn't it? Um, well, last time I, I sang a, a long song and a short song. This time I'm just going to sing a long song. And it's, it, it, it is quite a long song. And I, I may have an interval partway through in case anyone needs to go to the loo or post their Christmas cards or develop a vaccine or something. Um, the good news is that it is shorter than the Greek national anthem and the bad news is that the Greek national anthem has 158 verses. But this isn't so much a song as a community project and I was the only member of the community who would join in. But because it if you don't uh, have a community project, if you just stick to songs, you can sing them for 50 years and all you get is a lump of glass with your name on it. And you've got to go off to Westminster to collect it yourself too. So I wasn't going to fall for that. I was going to do a proper community project. And it was centered on uh, traditional costume across Europe. And I can see why they didn't give me any money for it. Um, and it's entitled Prominent personages of Europe are distinguished by their socks, whilst those of lesser continents in general terms are not. And, and, and it's, all, well, it's not exactly timeless because some of the, the verses date back to a time when uh, Serbia had a worse leader than we did. And some of them are bang up to date with Novichok and Belarus, he got in. I do mention the leader of Belarus and um, and COVID-19. So it's, it's, it's one of those that spans the ages. Some of the verses being over 14 years old and therefore traditional. The Premier of Britain, he wears socks of bottle green. He wears them to the palace and he shows them to the queen. He shows them to the queen. He shows them to the queen. He wears them to the palace and he shows them to the queen. The king of Spain wears green socks to resembling Tony Blair's. But his are made of crimpoline and pull out all his hairs. They pull out all his hairs, they pull out all his hairs, but his are made of crimpoline and pull out all his hairs. The presidential socks are also green out in Bulgaria, but not being made of crimpoline, his legs are somewhat hairier, his legs are somewhat hairier, his legs are somewhat hairier, but not being made of crimpoline. His legs are somewhat hairier. Now old and yellow are the socks Swiss leaders have to wear. Although they look like Emmental, they smell more like Gruyere. They smell more like Gruyere. They smell more like Gruyere. Although they look like Emmental, they smell more like Gruyere. The president of Italy wears socks of snowy white. He waves them round and round his head when he gets in a fight. When he gets in a fight, when he gets in a fight, he wears them round and round his head when he gets in a fight. Red, white and blue are the state socks of the president of France. The Constitution bans him from wearing all three at once, wearing all three at once, uh, wearing all three at once. The Constitution bans him from wearing all three at once. The Chancellor of Germany wears black silk socks so posh. Each time we win the World Cup, then we put them in the wash. We put them in the wash, we put them in the wash. Each time we win the World Cup, then we put them in the wash. The papal private secretary caused an almighty row. 
He said, Dear Pope, I fear your socks are holier than thou. They're holier than thou. They're holier than thou. He said, Dear Pope, I fear your socks are hair holier than thou. In need of dining are the socks of Andorra's fine grandees. The locals all peek through the holes to see the Pyrenees, to see the Pyrenees, to see a pair of knees. The locals all peek through the holes to see a pair of knees. The Turkish leader wears odd socks, one's red and one is green. Cause one foot it is Asian and the other's European. The other's European, the other's European. Because one foot is Asian and the other's European. The president of Serbia spends all his nation's wealth on stealing other people's socks and wearing them in belt. And wearing them himself, and wearing them himself, on stealing other people's socks, and wearing them himself. The Czech president chooses socks from an enormous box. He gave away Slovakia, but he held on to his socks. He held on to his socks. He held on to his socks. He gave away Slovakia. But held on to his socks. Slovakia's president, sure socks are blue with yellow flecks. He's also seen with stripes and spots, but not seen dead with checks. But not seen dead with checks. Not seen dead with checks. He's also seen with spots and stripes, but not seen dead with checks. The Queen of Sweden's royal socks. A woolly blue and gold. She pulls them up above her knees to keep away the cold. To keep away the cold. To keep away the cold. She pulls them up above her knees to keep away the cold. Here's Lukashenko. White socks with black stripes are worn by the boss of Belarus. Because he will cut corners when he's polishing his shoes. He's polishing his shoes, he's polishing his shoes, because he will cut corners when he's polishing his shoes. The Queen of Denmark has cold legs because her socks are thin. At night she hangs them on a nail for curing bacon in, for curing bacon in, for curing bacon in. At night she hangs them on a nail for curing bacon in. San Marino's presidential socks are small as small can be, cause larger socks would violate Italian territory. Italian territory, Italian territory, cause larger socks would violate Italian territory. The president of Austria's socks are woven out of cotton. He told me what the colour was, but sadly I've forgotten. But sadly I've forgotten, sadly I've forgotten. He told me what the colour was, but sadly I've forgotten. The president of Cyprus wears shortened socks to work because the top half got chopped off by interfering Turks. By interfering Turks, by interfering Turks, because the top half got chopped off by interfering Turks. The leader of Slovenia can't find his socks, poor chap. I sympathise because I can't find Slovenia on the map. Slovenia on the map, Slovenia on the map. I sympathise because I can't find Slovenia on a map. Orange socks are worn by leaders of the Portuguese. They look like pots of marmalade but smell like lumps of cheese. They smell like lumps of cheese. They smell like lumps of cheese. They look like pots 
of marmalade but smell like lumps of cheese. Greek leaders never wash their socks but waft away the smells in a wind that whistles up their legs through the Dardanelles and through the Dardanelles and through the Dardanelles the wind that whistles up their legs and through the Dardanelles Maltese leaders wear the very finest socks in Valletta and if they were washed occasionally they might look even better they might look even better, they might look even better If they were washed occasionally, they might look even better The Irish president goes round in most expensive socks The constitution says they must cost more than the T-shocks Cost more than the T-shocks Cost more than the T-shocks The constitution says they must Cost more than the T-shocks. The King of Belgium's regal socks are very dull and grey, but no one ever notices the Belgians anyway. The Belgians anyway. The Belgians anyway. But no one ever notices the Belgians anyway. Ingrowing toenails plague the life of the leader of Ukraine. He snips big holes in all his socks to minimise the pain. To minimise the pain. To minimise the pain. He snips big holes in all his socks to minimise the pain. Romanian presidential socks are kept in golden chests. They are the very posher socks in all of Bucharest. In all of Bucharest, in all of Bucharest, they are the very posher socks in all of Bucharest. Norwegian monarchs spend much more on buying socks than food because they must maintain their feet at chilly latitudes, at chilly latitudes, at chilly latitudes, because they must maintain their feet Add the chilly attitudes. Covid next. Monaco's prince, he chops up socks to make them into masks. To slow the spread of viruses amongst the monogasks. Amongst the monogasks. Amongst the monogasks. To slow the spread of viruses amongst the monogasks. The president of Russia struts around in garish socks, but no one ever points it out for fear of Novichok. For fear of Novichok, for fear of Novichok. But no one ever points it out for fear of Novichok. The Polish presidential socks are always full of holes. An unintended consequence of pulling socks up poles, of pulling socks up poles, of pulling socks up poles. An unintended consequence of pulling socks up poles. The Grand Duke socks in Luxembourg are only a size eight. They may not sound that big to you, but they're larger than the state. They're larger than the state. They're larger than the state. Though they might not sound big to you, they're larger than a state. The leader of Croatia has sunburn on his toes because his wife unpicks his socks to knit her dog some clothes. To knit her dog some clothes. To knit her dog some clothes. Because his wife unpicks his socks to knit her dog some clothes. They take recycling seriously, the leaders of the Finns. At night they go collecting socks from tips and skips and bins. From tips and skips and bins. Tips and skips and bins. At night they go collecting socks from tips and skips and bins. The president of Hungary astonished Budapest, unpicking his official socks to knit a woolly vest. To knit a woolly vest, to knit a woolly vest. Unpicking his official socks, to knit a woolly vest. 
Dutch royalty wear padded socks, their blisters fall to ease, because they like to carve their shoes from bits of fallen trees, from bits of fallen trees, from bits of fallen trees, because they like to carve their shoes from bits of fallen trees. Now three nations in one now and upset the people in the Baltic. The Baltic states' his leaders' socks are very hard to see. They're shrouded in the mist that rolls in off the Baltic Sea. Off the Baltic Sea, from off the Baltic Sea. They're shrouded in the mist that rolls in off the Baltic Sea. Few details of the leader socks exist in Catalonia. The Spanish courts have locked them up, so there's no way of showing you. There's no way of showing you. There's no way of showing you. The Spanish courts have locked them up, so there's no way of showing you. Now I'm going to annoy Albania, North Macedonia, Montenegro, uh, Moldova, Bosnia, and Kosovo. By taking me the one first, there we go. Balkan presidential socks are greeted with derision because of how they cast their votes each year in Eurovision. Each year in Eurovision, each year in Eurovision, because of how they cast their votes each year in Eurovision. Icelandic leaders wear six socks, that's three on either foot, as anyone with any sense who lived in Iceland would. Who lived in Iceland would? Who lived in Iceland would? As anyone with any sense who lived in Iceland would. Now, Georgian presidential socks are very, very long. Although I must admit they're somewhat shorter than this song. They're shorter than this song. They're shorter than this song, although I must admit they're somewhat shorter than my song. <laughs> oh, the relief at the end. <laughs> I was looking for the digital hook to grab him. <laughs> the big hook. Give it a twist. Pull him off. Wow. How many verses? Don't count them. Just get an approximation. How there many? Are, there were forty. It would have been forty-eight, but I did combine the Baltic and the Balkan verses, did I not? Well, that's a, that's fair. That's fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair the interesting thing was the the people in the Muppet boxes who got up and went for a wee or to make uh, make their supper or whatever came back, and the look on their faces when you were still. <laughs> In the same song was wonderful. It was kind of disbelief that a song could go on so long. I'll shut up, John, and let you get on now. Well, in, in the time that it took Gaffer to sing that, Margaret seems to have gone home. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Yeah. She's back in Wolverhampton now. Oh, she'll have to watch it on the on the West recording. Bromwich. Yeah, right, West Bromwich. <laughs> ah, ah, right. West Bromwich, Black West Country. Bromwich. She's frozen. Margaret's frozen, or is it me? No, oh. no I think it's just Margaret no. that's frozen. Ah, oh, bless her. Look, right. she's frozen. Oh, right, John, John and Carol. <laughs> Do I have to follow that? Something, oh, like, yeah. something without socks. A sockless song. <laughs> have you got any long ones, John? <laughs> A long John, sorry, long one. Socks. <laughs> and I'm going to have to leave after this song, so I just wanted to say thank you all for a lovely evening. It's so thank wonderful you, to connect with you all again. Thank you very much. I okay. shall be back. I know you wanted some translation storm of nudges, etc. It's oh. actually just, um, I don't know, a nonsense poem, if you yeah. like. It, it, it is what you want it to be, really. Oh, how yeah. dare you! Those are all connotations. Makers' um, vocabulary. I'll have you know? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> right. Well, here we are. It's about um, 
Whoa, 52 years since I met this lady who sat on my shoulder. Um, <laughs> and uh, she's sort of, it took me another month to take her out, but this is a song for her anyway. Most people just put a parrot on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, I've got one. <laughs> I'll try again. Put your arms around me, let me feel your love surround me Feels like the warm glow of the sun I need to feel you near me, and to know you love me dearly Come on girl, chase my blues away Sometimes I feel like nothing's going right Life seems difficult to bear Turn around and I'll see you there Feel the love I know we share And you just blow my cares away So put your arms around me Let me feel your love surround me Feels like the warm glow of the sun Need to feel you near me and to know you love me dearly. Come on, go, chase my blues away. Sometimes I feel like nothing's going right And life seems difficult to bear Turn around and I'll see you there Feel the love I know we share And you just blow my cares away So put your arms around me Let me feel your love surround me Feels like the warm glow of the sun I need to feel you near me And to know you love me dearly Come on go, chase my blues away Only you can take my cares away Come on go and chase my blues away Oh, you're, you're a sentimental old soul, aren't you? Yeah, old, God the old Hector. Yeah, despite <laughs> that brusque, harsh exterior. Oh, yeah. oh, definitely, yeah. Lovely. Right, I think it's your turn, is it? Or do you hey, want... hey, 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 you're not doing just one. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Cat Stevens song, following the environmental sort of the theme. Well, I think it's fine building jumbo planes, taking a ride on a cosmic train. Switch on summer from a slot machine. Get what you want if you want it, cause you can have anything. I know we've come a long way, we're changing day to day, but tell me where do the children play?
while you roll on roads over fresh green grass for your lorry loads pumping petrol gas and you make them long and you make them tough but they just go on and on till it seems like you can't get off I know we've come along the way we're changing day to day but tell me where do the children play well you crack the sky scrape us fill the air but will you keep on building higher till there's no more room up there will you make us laugh Will you make us cry? Will you tell us when to live? Will you tell us when to die? I know we've come a long way We're changing day to day But tell me where do the children play? Yeah, you see that was worth waiting for. This Carol's not knitting socks there, is she? No, it's no, a blanket. blanket. <laughs> Uh, if she was knitting socks, I'd get her to knit them thigh length, and then I could join in with the gaffer's song then. <laughs> Lime green and red or something. Ooh. Do you want me to move? For a vision sock <laughs> <like this. laughs> Okay, just before I start my poem, um, this is something that somebody sent to me couple of days ago and you to imagine 2020 as a maths problem so this is the maths problem if you're walking on the ice cream at five ounces per toaster and your bicycle loses a sock how much gravy will you need to repaint your hamster <laughs> <laughs> i thought you said yeah, three liters <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right, on a more serious note, this poem is called The Deer. Um, it was written July last year. Um, and for those of you who perhaps don't know, it's um, the coastal town of St Ives in Cornwall, which is... It's built in a hill, so it goes up quite a long way from the actual coast. And um, it, the sad part is it's actually written on the day my stepmom died. She lived about two thirds of the way up the hill. Um, her back garden was on three tiers built into the hill and the be behind the garden, there is only a car park. Nothing else at all. There's a big thousand car park. Car park. Okay. So this is the poem. In the coastal town of St Ives, on a warm mid-July afternoon, you don't expect to see a deer when you look out from a bedroom. Yet there you stood tall and proud, magnificent, majestic and calm. Looking at me, looking at you, each one meaning the other no harm. 
with your freedom of spirit to roam where you will. You were a strange sight to see. For there's no forest, no woodland, no open space, just beautiful blue sea. We shared some special moment, not once but thrice that day. Then, in the blink of an eye, as the sun faded away, I looked again and you'd gone. I'll never know from where you came or what it was brought you here. But on that particular mid-July afternoon, you were a mystical, magical seer. Thank you. Oh. Oh, it was lovely. Just the one tonight, is it, Carol? Are you back to your knitting, or...? Um, leave it until the second half, and if there's time, I'll do another one then, John. Yeah, I don't think there'll be much of a second half. <laughs> no, no, I don't either, and you push the time anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. That was lovely. That was lovely. Right, where's my list? Brian! Brian's been, hey. been sitting there patiently. I noticed in the chat earlier, you said you'd only been singing for about five months after a, a lifetime of dancing. What sort of dancing did you do? Was it sort of the ballroom or break dancing or Morris dancing or hip hop? Ballroom to start with. And as I got older, I then went on to Scottish dancing and then Western dancing, then line dancing, and finally ended up as folk dancing. Oh, okay. you've done a lot then. I used to call as well for the dancers. Ah, right. Then my wife broke her leg a couple of years ago, and I, I haven't got the puff to do dancing anyway. Now I last about thirty seconds, and that's it. You know. Yeah, I've got I've got a lady sitting next to me who used to do Scottish dancing as a kid, and okay. as a result, her knees are buggered. <laughs> Yeah, the line dance doesn't do your knees any good either, to be fair. But anyway, <laughs> the, my first song is a sea shanty about a sailor who has a sweetheart in Yarmouth, but finds she does not remain true to him when he goes to sea, and it's called Nancy of Yarmouth. It was Nancy from Yarmouth, from the fair inland stream. She was courted by William, he belongs to the sea. She was courted by William a long time ago. He's on the sea sailing where the stormy winds blow. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go. Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Pretty Nancy of Yarmouth, she's my own heart's desire, And a long and kind letter unto her I did write. All for to inform her of what we had to undergo While sailing on the ocean where the stormy winds blow So here's to the sailors, to battle they go Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow On the 18th of October our bark it set sail Pretty Nancy came down for to bid me farewell she said, while you're sailing on the wild wastes of blue, she said, my young sailor, I'll be faithful to you. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Oh, the stormy winds blow, boys, and make my pillow shake. They make my room window for to shiver and shake. God knows where my love lies, so far from the shore. I'll pray for her welfare, what can I do more? So here's to the sailor, to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. When the sailors are sailing, drink a health to their wives, For they love their sweethearts as they love their lives. Here's a punch going round, my boys, here a full glass in hand. Here's a health to loving Nancy that I leave on dry land. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Twas early one evening, just before it grew dark, 
Our captain came to us and he showed us a mark. He showed us a mark, boys, from Zeus in the sky. And he said he was sure there was a stormy very nigh. So here's to the sailors, do battle they go. Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Twas early next morning, just before it grew day, Our captain came to us, and these words he did say, Be all of good heart, boys, be all of good cheer, For whilst we have sea roads, brave boys, never fear. So here's to the sailors, and to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle, and the stormy winds blow. It's well, my dearest jewel, how we were tossed about, Like an army of soldiers going forth for to fight. A soldier may fly to his sword or his gun, But a sailor must submit to his watery tune. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Long years then did pass, when back I did return. Pretty Nancy was married, had a home of her own. While I was a-sailing on the wild, restless sea, Pretty Nancy proved faithless and false unto me. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle and the stormy winds blow. Come all ye young sailors, and listen to me, And never leave the lass you love for to plough the salt sea. For while you are sailing on the wild ocean blue, She proved faithless like Nancy of Yarmouth to you. So here's to the sailors, to battle they go, Where the cannons loudly rattle, and the stormy winds blow. There, I mean, thank you. Brian's from East Sussex. I did ask him earlier, yeah. now that they've split his county in half, which half did he come from? And he said East Sussex. So we against you, Brian. <laughs> um, the second song is a camp, Scout Campfire adaption of a country song by Johnny Cash. It's about a farmer who has a vision of ghostly chickens thundering across the sky. The song is called Ghost Chickens in the Sky, and it's got a chorus, so I'll sing the chorus the first time round, but if you unmute the second time and make a lot of chicken noises, it will be nice. A chicken farmer took a walk out on his farm one day. He paused by the chicken coop as he went along his way. When all up once a rotten eye hit him in the eye, it was not what he wished for, ghost chickens in the sky. Then the chicken farmer went out on one cold and windy night. He had a bad feeling, something wasn't right. Suddenly a giant chicken shit hit him right in the eye. It was the sight he dreaded, ghost chickens in the sky. You can unmute for some chicken noises. <coughs> ghost chickens in the sky. The farmer had raised chickens since he was 24. Of working for the colonel for thirty years or more, killing all those chickens and sending them to fry. And now they want revenge, ghost chickens in the sky. A mute time. <laughs> <laughs> Their beaks were black and shiny, and their eyes were blazing red. They had no meat or feathers, these chickens they were dead. They picked the farmer up, and he died by the claw. 
and they cooked him extra crispy and ate him with cold claw and mutine. <laughs> Chickens in the sky. The moral of this story is to be careful who you eat, because there's no more painful death than to be a rotisserie. Please go and have a burger and pass the gurnal by, and maybe you'll survive. Ghost chickens in the sky. A new time. <laughs> <laughs> Those <laughs> chickens in the sky. Well, that'll be that'll be interesting to see that on the recording tomorrow, won't it? <laughs> it was done by now in the, in America. So. Leroy, Leroy, somebody, I think. I can't remember his name now. But we used to sing okay. it. Move up. We've Hello. got Dave Heitch this week. We had loads of trouble a couple of weeks ago. His internet was going more than it was coming. But he's been here all night. So he's picking his guitar up. He's unmuted. And we're going to hear the lovely deep tones of Mr. Ooh. David Hi. We've got most of his head tonight. That's a that's a joy, <laughs> deep joy, David. <laughs> you can't you can't see me bollocks to Boris T-shirt, can you? Uh, um, uh, in great haste, actually, I'm uh, I'm on daddy taxi duty in ten minutes, so I'll have to fly. Say I'm no good. I'm just an actual ball traveling man doing what I think I should be. Doing what I think I should. When I was a little baby, my mama said, Hey, son, travel away.
Yeah, that brings back... Alan's just put a bit on the chat. Uh, we've got a lad called Dave Costello, who, not in the best of health these days, he used to sing that down in the club, and, uh, yeah, reminds me of Dave. Uh, but excellent version of that, David. I'm just curious, David, whether that house on the wall has gained any value. We should switch to Glenis, really, for a professional opinion on it, shouldn't we? Glenis, have a look at this house. Give us the latest. Right, let's have, where is it? Let's have a look. Remind us, David, where are? Where is it? It's in Essex. It's in Essex, yeah. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. well, I reckon, I reckon they've gone up a bit. Are we oh. talking on 700,000? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You pr round here, you're probably talking 300 now. Offers considered to that effect. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Thank you, Glennis. Nine years ago. <laughs> but not anymore. Right. <clears throat> this is uh, for a late lamented friend of mine. His birthday would have been this week and whose favourite song it was. I don't know why Can't find one good reason to stay in. Maybe I leave it to be the best. But these roads are the blessings that I'm looking for. Week, Dave. Nice so, good evening, good everybody. Time. See you again. Turn on now. Great. Enjoy your taxiing. <laughs> I used to teach a Western couple dance to that one, rose coloured glasses. Ah. <laughs> that well. Yeah. Great dance it was, too. Nice <clears> walk. <throat> yeah. You haven't seen me dance, Brian, have you? Sorry? No. <laughs> you haven't seen me dance, have you? No, the chicken moves, eh? it's, a, it's a sight to behold, I can tell you. My my skeleton is moving down while the rest of my body's moving up, and and vice versa. It's kind of like Mr. Blobby with a, yeah. That's how it works. Anyway, 
We've right. got we've got Tigwin's video, have we, John? Yeah, you, are you all are you set up for that? I'll mute myself oh, first. That set up. I I'll see mute myself going. first and I'll pop it on just now. Another week's flown by, uh, they're, they're passing. Um, this week's offering is a poem called Caer Bulge Clouth, Bulge Clouth Hillfort. And it's where the poet uh, Gareth Alban Davis and his lover uh, used to have their tryst. And it's easy as we get older uh, to forget the power and the thrill of uh, first love. Uh, anyway, here we go. Caer uh, Bulge Clouth. O fewn i firiau'r gair carasomni, cilch yng nghylch, a'r ymchwydd y borfa lom, bwriaeth fel bwatyn, saethau dy gariad fri, safent fel cyllyll yn fy llygaid i. A'r mynydd crwm hain am hain, a'i groen o entrych glas, yn troi fel olwyn gatrin fawr, yn unigeddau gwag y dydd gwyn. Priodol y fethau, fi as ein gosod ni, ynghylchoi llydan y lloer ar hael, a'n dathlu yno gyda'r llu chwedlonol. Hero, Leandris, Tristan Esyllt, Siôn a Siân, ond nis mynesem hi, roedd clawdd y gair o'n cilch, yn cae amdanom dwt derfynau dyn. Ein hoelio yno ar darian brython, yn ddarn o ysbael amser. Gogon neddus oedd geometri'r mynydd crwm, cilch yng nghylch, a than belen hael a pharasol o wybren las, y myd ymdreiddio, gwelwn y ser ymhydew dwfn dylygaid di, ac y fori'n troi yn rhod y cnawd. Ah, neis dros ben, Alun. I have to look at the, 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 the scrolling subtitles got a little bit ahead of you there, Tigwin. Oh, it was my fault. My fault. That was about the seventh or eighth reiteration of it. So uh, <laughs> I watched most of it through and, and I missed the end bit when I was editing. Anyway, there we are. I'll, I'll try harder next time. No, it's perfect. Uh, I have to thank you for that, Ali. It, it, it makes a sense out of the whole thing. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yep. There we are. Yep. Right. <laughs> are, you, are you giving us a song now? Yes, I'll, I'll I'll give you a song. Yes, I've done this one before. I think. Um, it's got quite a history. It's based on a story by the classical writer Plutarch, uh, but it was turned into a poem by the Greek poet uh, Constantine Cavafy. Um, and the poem is, uh, Kavafi's poem is about uh, Alexander um, being turned into a Christian city and the expulsion of the uh, pagans from Alexander in Egypt. But um, the song written by Leonard Cohen and uh, Sharon Robinson is about a lady called Alexander. It's on his 10 New Songs album, and it's uh, um, a real tearjerker. So we'll try this one. Suddenly, the night has grown colder. The God of love Preparing to depart Alexandra hoisted On his shoulder They slip between the sentries Of the heart Upheld by 
the simplicity of pleasure They gain the light they formlessly entwine And radiant beyond your wildest measure They fall among the voices and the wine It's not a trick Your senses all deceiving Fitful dream The morning will exhaust Say goodbye To Alexander leaving Then say goodbye To Alexander lost Even though she sleeps upon your satin Even though she wakes you with a kiss Do not say the moment was imagined Do not stoop to strategies like this Someone long prepared for this to happen Go forward to the window, drink it in Exquisite music, Alexander laughing Your first commitments tangible again and you who had the honor of her evening by that honor had your own restored say goodbye to Alexander leaving Alexander leaving with her Lord Even though she sleeps upon your satin Even though she wakes you with a kiss Do not say the moment was imagined do not stoop to strategies like this As someone long prepared for this to happen In full command of every plan you wrecked Do not choose a coward's explanation that hides behind the cause and the effect And you who were bewildered by a meaning Whose code was broken, crucifix uncrossed Say goodbye to Alexander leaving Then say goodbye to Alexander Lost Say goodbye to Alexander Leaving Then say goodbye to Alexander Lost Thank you, Gwyn. Llawn o basiwn, Gwyn. Oh, then I think, well, I, I'm working on becoming a cult figure, as you suggest. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Careful with this, Ellen. Oh, I've got a figure, you know. Ooh. 
In fact, there's people who shout at me on the street. There goes a cult. Um... <laughs> Careful. It's a, fam- it's a family show. Family show, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, we, we haven't asked uh, the Jenkins twins if they wanted to do anything tonight. Uh, oh, uh, e, uh, ooh, they're somewhere around here. They're moving about. No, no, there they go. Oh, I think I think they might be pissed by the look of them. Oh, we've, at... we've possibly got one if you want one. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that would be nice. So, right, we've got uh, Lisa and Steve, and then we've got Carl, and then if you can stick one in before Alan finishes off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. Mute the buggers now, Alan. I will, I will. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure. It's one click of a button. Now, Lisa and Steve have moved around the st- screen a couple of times. They've been very patiently sitting there. There they are. I'm going to ask to unmute themselves. Look. Hello, Lisa and Steve. It's lovely to see you again. Yes, yeah. great to be here. That, that was the sound check. It's the sound check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm because the sound is completely different by the sound we've picked so far. Ah. Interesting. Internet keeps changing. I've tried to dance. That's why I was doing it. Looks as if we're on. So. Yeah. I thought, was this lady here? No. Right. Can you hear us? We're hearing Steve, but we're not hearing you, Lisa. You'll have to get a little closer, I think. Oh. Yeah, but we've only got the one microphone. Yeah, right. Cuddle up while you can. We've got a lockdown. <laughs> Cuddle up. Need excuse. Watch you don't take his eye out with that machine head. <laughs> Glasses protect. <laughs> right. Never mind Met my love by the gasworks wall. In a dream by the old canal. Kiss my girl by the factory wall. In the old town. Dirty old town Clouds are drifting Across the moon Pants are prowling On their feet Springs a girl On the streets at night Dirty old town, dirty old town. Heard a siren from the door. Heard a train set the night on fire. Swing the fan. Happy wind, dirty old town, dirty old town. Gonna make pictures, shiny steel, tempered iron. Met my love, but I guess what's more, being the dream on the old canal. Kiss my girl, but back 
yourself steve come on, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. usually lisa's speciality oh, he's he's <laughs> <laughs> Go right. on. one two eight you hear that yeah mm. good yeah. My
Liverpool, Lou. Ah, oh, they're in lockdown as well. Oh yeah, I know. We'll be we'll be on a top lockdown soon. Gate seven up this week. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> you can see all the good arrows going down everywhere around about us, except gate seven and up up the gate seven. Oh dear. Never mind. Maybe it will happen. Oh yeah, it will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so down. What down? <laughs> I mean, we we're in lockdown now for two two and a half weeks. But the full lockdown, I mean, tier whole, one, tier three. Whole, I mean, the whole of Wales. What uh, tier tier three? No, we don't have no tears. tears yeah. No tears. Oh uh, no, no, I see no tears. tears. Just laughter. No tears yeah. at all. <laughs> We're always happy in Oh, we're getting so many sad stories in there. <laughs> you you. You're frightened to open it. It's so miserable. All these funny, funny stories oh, and everything. That's you just up a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. tier three, don't know you're bloody born. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, let's uh, move. Sitting patiently all night is Carl. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know. What's happened to all you, you? You know, you were quite her suit when you started. You had a, a parting and a fringe, and yes, and you're quite Before curly. Gaff. I think I lost it during Gaffer's rendition. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got tonight, Carl? Uh, Nos wife there, pal. Um, hello, hello. Thanks to Lisa there for the, for the Liverpool connection because this is an old folk song, but still very well known, and. Um, it's called The Leaving of Liverpool. No doubt it's been done in the club many times. Um, but I think it's about a sailor who goes off to make his fortune, emigrates to America. And of course, Liverpool port, you've got a choice of many places you can land in America. But of course, it was ne never easy and you never knew if you'd ever see your family again, really. So it's sort of, it's a story. Let's see if I can do it. Sailor, he can get along. If he 
nap den i So fare well, my own true love. When I return united we shall be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's grieving me. So darling, when I think of me. Farewell to Lower Frederick Street, Ensign Terrace and Park Lane. For I think it will be a long, long time before I see you again. So fare well, my own true love. When I return united, we shall be. It's not the leaving of the Liverpool that's grieving me, darling, when I think of you. Oh, the sun is on the harbour, love, and I wish I could remain. For I know it will be a long, long time before I see you again. So fare well, my own true love. When I return united, we shall be. It's not the leaving of Liverpool that's grieving me. But my darling, when I think. Oh yes! Don't get a smile. <laughs> yeah, we often we often round the night off with that one, Carl. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> but I've not heard it yet, so I thought I might be, you know, getting it in before anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. No, it's uh, it's one of those that we do as a sort of a a group song at the end, where we just get everybody up and we just go for it. You're right. Well, I hope. Edna was rocking. Edna was rocking during the choruses of that. She was rocking so much. I think she's gone for a toilet break just now. I'm not sure. Well, I did from Edna that. She's back. She's back. Edna, yeah. did you like that leaving the Liverpool? She's nodding. She's nodding. She, <clears throat> she left a long time ago. I was thinking about, you know, free the Liverpool one when Edna went missing a couple of weeks ago. I think she was in the kitchen and eventually she came back out. So... <laughs> But of course, it was, I, think it was mainly, I think it was mainly the Irish. Put me right, John. I think it was mainly Irish emigrating, wasn't it? Coming across from Ireland. It wasn't necessarily a Liverpool man. Apparently there's been a, a big raid in Liverpool, a police raid this afternoon, uh, looking for an Al-Qaeda cell. Uh, I think there were four of them there after. They found, they found uh, been snorting, been dealing... And been thieving, but there was, apparently there's no sign of been working. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get letters. I know I'll get letters. I can feel them coming in now. I'll get the letters. It's not the letters you need to worry about, John. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's it's it's, it's the Jenkins twins. And, and mute or mute. There we go. Edna's on the ball there. She's muting herself, you know. Well <laughs> done, Edna. Well done. <clears throat> okay, well, a couple of weeks ago, Alan treated us to a Jez Lowe song, which prompted us to get out our, our one Jez Lowe album, which we bought at the club, and we discovered it was back in 1993 that we saw Jez Lowe at the club. <laughs> but on that, we discovered a song that we'd forgotten about, um, which is a traditional song which has been covered by lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Um, but on this Jez Lowe album, it's sang by Bev Saunders, or Bev Sanders, rather. And uh, this, this is our version of it. I look to the east, I look to the west. I saw John Buller coming according With four blind horses driving in the clouds To look at the other side of Jordan 
Pull off your old coat and roll up your sleeves. Jordan is a hard road to travel, I believe. Strife and stagnation are all across the land. Men, women, children are all starving. I lie here afraid if there doesn't come a change, we'll all be on the other side of Jordan. Pull off your old coat and roll up your sleeves. Jordan is a hard road to travel, I believe. There's thunder in the clouds, there's lightning in the trees. I called to my child and then I told him, It's goodbye, son, till the next kingdom come, and I'll meet you on the other side of Jordan. Pull off your old coat and roll up your sleeves. Jordan is a hard road to travel, I believe. This lady of England has made a big address About slavery and horrors she is calling She'd better look at home to her own poor slaves We're starving on the other side of Jordan Pull off your old coat and roll up your sleeves Jordan is a hard road to travel, I believe I looked to the east, I looked to the west, I saw John Buller coming according, with four blind horses driving in the clouds to look at the other side of Jordan. Pull off your old coat and roll up your sleeves, Jordan is a hard road to travel, I believe. Oh, yes, uh, really nice. I've got that album. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah, gosh, that's a difficult song to sing. What made you think? You've picked something easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> but excellent, excellent. Thank you. Right, I'm glad, we, I'm glad we didn't miss that. So we've, oh, it's banjo time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ooh. the banjo boy next to finish off the night. Ah, oh, here he comes. He's not unmuted, though. Yeah, it's not unmuted, so it'll be okay. That's the best way to hear a banjo when it's muted, I think. For some people, the body is a temple. For Alan, it's a bouncy castle. You're muted, Alan. I'm not. No. I was. Yeah. The best way to, to amplify a banjo, of course, <laughs> no offence, Lisa, best way to answer, amplify a banjo is to stuff some spongy stuff from the kitchen under the, under the, uh, the, the heel of the banjo there. So. so I hope it's not going to be too loud. In fact, this is a first. I haven't played without finger picks for many, many years, and I'm playing Noith Borkin, Heno. I'm playing completely starkers. My fingers are starkers this evening. Ooh. I'm hoping it'll stay in tune. It's a song. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I had to pop out for a pee. Then it was no offence. It, it's a, a song. Um, uh, who's written this song? David. David. Um, uh, Francie who's a Scotsman living in Canada. And he wrote a lovely little song, which I normally play on a guitar. And I, I was passing this. I hang my instruments on, on the wall, on um, picture rails and things. And I was passing the banjo and it said, play me, play I me. It's been off the wall for a long time. So here it is. A little tune first and then a song called Saints and sinners, they're all here tonight. Mostly sinners, I can see. I can see one or two saints. Yeah, I'll go for two saints. Guess who they are? Well, okay, here's a clue. Teguin is one. <laughs> You've lost your halo, Wally. <laughs> Have I? I lost my halo. Well, a long time I lost my halo. So here, here's... You better, uh... include, you better include Sally in the saints, I think. Oh, ah, is she, where, where, oh there she is. Of course, Sally, and Peter's one of the sinners, as we know. 
<laughs> Look, lovely to see you two, by the way. Lovely to see you. If you can't get here early, don't worry. We just love to see you coming in. So here we go, saints and sinners. <laughs> Sunday morning in our town and I sat on my set and stared at the ground bowed my head as they shuffled past all the saints being called for their morning mass and off in the distance there rang a bell off in the distance there rang a bell it rang for the saints and the sinners as well Way off in the distance there rang a bell I remember the lessons of Sunday school But I can't help but think maybe I'm a fool But I see no sign of a greater plan just the joys and the sorrows of my fellow man And off in the distance there rang a bell Off in the distance there rang a bell It rang for the saints and the sinners as well Way off in the distance there rang a bell Here we stand as life rushes past between the first breath and the last And here we stand between east and west Here we stand between earth and death I was watching the news the other night There was a war on the left There was a war on the right it's no surprise that it's us or them It's a long way from heaven to Bethlehem And off in the distance there rang a bell Off in the distance there rang a bell It rang for the saints and the sinners as well Way off in the distance there rang a bell here we stand as life rushes past Between the first breath and the last And here we stand between east and west Here we stand between birth and death It was Sunday morning in our town and I sat on my steps and stared at the ground Bowed my head as they shuffled past All the saints being called for their morning mass And off in the distance there rang a bell Off in the distance there rang a bell It rang for the saints and the sinners as well Way off in the distance there rang a bell Way off in the distance there rang a bell Way off in the distance there rang a bell Ding dong! <laughs> Brilliant! Lovely song! Lovely song! Shame to spoil that one but there we are! <laughs> Are we done, or I've got one more? What have we got? Oh, on, everybody's done two. You're not getting away with less. Oh, God, you're not getting away with less than two. A sheep as a lamb, they say, don't they? So yeah, we've, we've got two treats tonight: a banjo and an accordion. Oh no! <laughs> not necessarily at the same time. I. The good news is I've got a volume control on this electronic accordion jobby, and I. But I don't normally use it. I leave it on 11 most times. 
So I've got a song. Uh, no, shall I? Yes, I will. Yes. <coughs> a song about Australia. Shame John's not here because I know he likes it. <laughs> Stop showing me the beer. No, 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 not, not, not the John, the other John. No, the beer. Don't no, the beer. Me. What, what? Oh, John. You're still Bless going. You. I've still got another nine days to go, yeah. Mr. Oh. Warburton is having a sober October. Well, what a pillock. That's all I can <laughs> say. 240 pounds so far. It, uh, well, it'll probably do you, it'll probably do you a lot of good as well. Your liver. How's your liver? It's fine, thank Is you. Is it? Yeah, so's mine. Oh. It's mixed to regenerate. So, uh, I've got to remember what the song was now. Oh, yes, yes, um, yeah. Uh, a song about enforced emigration of children to Australia. It made me the man that I am. I stood on the shore at Southampton, salt wind in my hair, a case in my hand. We were going to Western Australia. It made me the man that I am, I am. It made me the man that I am. Oh, far away sometimes I feel so far away but the sun is up it's a good bright day there's work to be done so I'll be on my way on the crossing they called us the orphans but they were the family I never had. We said our goodbyes at Fremantle. It made me the man that I am, I am. It made me the man that I am. Far away, so far away. Sometimes I feel so far away But the sun is up, it's a good bright day There's work to be done, so I'll be on my way I stand on the shore at Southampton Took me 48 years to stand here again I wait for the tears but they won't come It made me the man that I am, I am It made me the man that I am Far away, so far away Sometimes I feel so far away But the sun is up, it's a good bright day There's work to be done, so I'll be on my way It made me the man that I am, I am Sometimes I feel so far away But the sun is up, it's a good bright day There's work to be done, so I'll be on my way <laughs> little, fluff. Yeah. little fluff there. 
I blame the beer. I blame the beer. Play Waltzing Matilda on YouTube. You get YouTube sort of saying you can't do that because. Uh, I Oops. wasn't expecting any. Um, and owns any... the rights to it. <clears throat> I'm very sorry. This is. Um, this is. I've, I've been through a few of these this evening. You see, I went out and I did a, a, a bulk shop, and it's one of my favourite beers, and it's very, very cheap, and it's delicious. So um, I've drunk one too many this evening, which is the explanation for the fluff note at the end there. <laughs> it would have been note perfect, but I would have been less happy. <laughs> Right, we've I... gone on a bit late tonight, but we've had uh, Leslie just totted it up. We've had twenty-one different spots tonight. Wow. Yeah, that's so, uh, whew, yeah. Uh, right, so I remember uh, spots. I was a very spotty teenager. <laughs> I had some awful spots. They affected my personal, personal self, self image at the time. But Did fortunately, I grew out of it. Hmm? Did you get him on your bum? No, no, no. <laughs> bum wasn't a problem. Skin. Oh, great big. Oh, no. Oh, looks. <laughs> it was. I used all sorts of um, potions uh. to try and get rid of them. Hot and cold water, all sorts of things. I'm glad I'm older. Yes. But I want to be around for a while yet, now that I'm rid, rid of them. That's it. <laughs> I think John right. Warburton was flashing his hand then. I think, John, were you a spotty youth, John? Of course, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> All the best people. You've mm. gone to the dentist, John. Ah. <laughs> right. Okay. Come on. We're all going home. I've got to be up in the morning to write the blog. Hey. So, uh, I don't want going to. You, you, you might not all get a mention with twenty-one. <laughs> it's been a lovely <laughs> evening. It's been a lovely evening of ver variety. It's been delightful. Yeah. Yes. Right. So don't forget. Uh, Unless you're one of these people who've never put the clocks back, your clocks go back and we get another hour of 2020. Oh. Oh. But you can't wait for it, can you? Oh, hey. no. um, we'll see you all next week. Yeah, so, right. Have a good week. And, good night, uh, John Boy. Take Bye. care of yourselves. Bye. Good night, Elizabeth. Bye. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. I've stopped the recording. No, I haven't.